What's up guys, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today, we're gonna take a look at a bunch of different products from AudioFire, Abstrung, Aircord, Vesper, Vivum, and something else that I forgot. And Ether Arp, of course, how could I forget that? All right, let's get right to it, let's check it out. All right guys, so let's check this stuff out because there's a ton here i always say that but I'm, I'm so serious um so we have like the randomizer series these are all going to function exactly the same they're just going to do different sounds so um abstrung is strings air chord is bowed blown and human sustained events air um and then vesper bells and twinkly things okay so what i have here is Abstrung. I'm going to tell you right now, this is going to take a long time to load, and I really recommend after you load it to go and batch, resave, and then it'll load like that. But it'll take a while. It's a very large library. So um, let's see what you can do with this. So so for starters, the you know basic things you can do with it. Just, you know, you got two layers here, load them up and got different sounds. Piano plucks, seagull. I'm assuming this is a uh, seagull brand guitar. Um, sitar. So pretty nice samples, right? Now, obviously, this is the randomizer series. So the cool stuff happens when you hit this. See, that's what I mean. Um, we have all those like the little, the trails and all that twinkling there. When you randomize things, it, you know, arpeggiator, step sequencer, crystals um kind of like granular effects so you can just you know get into those just hitting edit here um and the browser is right here like for all the sounds so modeled synths designed acoustic sp spacey and then trails so basically everything's laid out like that or you can just like click here and load different samples but they're all categorized right here um so besides just operating like that with all the different samples really what this is focused on is the infinite possibilities by hitting random. That's why it is the randomizer series. So while it is like, you know, um, kind of strings plucked, also as you hold down the key, we have evolution of that sound. Check out one more. See, stuff like that's really cool. Because I stopped holding the key down. And it keeps going. And going. And still going. All right, so <laughs> that's Abstrung. Air chord would be more bowed uh, w wind instruments, bowed instruments, and then human element like vocals and stuff like that. Oh. Like so. So let's check out some random stuff here. You never really know what the heck is going to happen with these. That's the fun. <laughs> Thank you. 
And of course, if you like really like that ringing out, but you don't like that whistle, just change it. Really nice textures and pads. It's a really, really resonant Ebo sound of a Ebo on a guitar, I'm assuming. Check out one more and then we'll move on. That's creepy. Okay, so let's move on. Go to the final product in the randomizer. So that would be Vesper. So let's check that out. Initial patch, randomizing. Uh, let's continue. Oh, so you can do stuff like that. Just turn on the arpeggiator, sequencer, etc. And we'll do one more. Remember all these effects like the sequencing and the arpeggiating, what I'm doing with Vesper, you can do it with Aircord and you can do it with Abstrunk. So uh, just keep that in mind when you hear some of the other sounds I was doing. I didn't really mess around with that as much.
So let's do... There we go. So you can get like creepy textures and whatnot. Uh, I honestly had no idea what I was doing, but you can see <laughs> how it works there. So honestly, there's some really weird, bizarre, I would, bizarre and synthesized is the words I would use um, for the randomizer instruments. They're not going to be like realistic, beautiful choirs. It's going to be weird textures, spacey sounds, creepy sounds, quirky, bizarre stuff like that. But I love it. Now let's go on. Um, let's go to um, Ether Arp. Let me load it up and then um, I will let the developer explain. Now you can see you can see the keys lighting up over here and then it goes over here for the two different sounds. Um, let's see what that is. But the core of this library is the cloud arpeggiator, which is not the usual arpeggiator with which we can perform audible fast sequences of notes that follow the chords we play. This is more like a device that uses the notes we play and reorders them in space and time while the samples are mangled by four different convolvers. All the parameters of the cloud arpeggiator can be randomized over time to create ever-changing soundscapes. Okay, so these guys have some really cool tutorials on it. <laughs> I was kind of poking fun at the um, the complexity of his definition, but you know, it's pretty damn cool. So if you turn off the cloud arpeggiator, you just get this kind of droney, twinkly sound. Now let's turn it on and then hit random. Okay, so cloud arpeggiator will be randomized. There we go. You know, it zigzag up and down, move in and move out. Just random. I don't know. So let's just like experiment with this. So you see there's four different sounds here. So I wasn't even holding down the keys there. That's just in on hold mode and playing around with the different sounds. And you just get like that beautiful evolving uh, twinkling um, soundscape. So ether, I think kind of means like um, kind of like the, the element of the sky, I think. And then arp, arpeggiator. Um, so that's some magical sounds you can get with it. And there's a lot of more deep function I haven't even touched here uh, because it's pretty complex. And you will get a much better explanation watching that video I showed you a little bit of. So um, let's go to the last one, which is Vivum. All right, so let's take a look at Vivum 1. And so there's going to be all these different ambiences. Each of these like has a different layer. So generate layers 1 out of 19. There's categories down here. So with nothing checked, you have everything here. And then you click this. Um, that says base. It's pretty small, but so you see only certain elements up here in this honeycomb looking thing light up. And you get just like the bassy sounds.
you hear how the sound you know changes as you um, activate and deactivate these different layers okay so um, sampled in 15 and 30 Hertz so pretty low fi um, let's randomize and just see what we get <laughs> So let's check out quickly. I know I've been rambling on V from AD. So you get a ton of evolving sounds here, um, selecting all of these different layers, and you could hear the arpeggiator was on that when I was like adjusting the rate, how quickly it goes through those sounds. And then finally, Vivum 3, which is like real acoustic sounds. So once again, in line with all the other instruments, bizarre, unique, synthesized, spacey, crazy sound design possibilities with all of their instruments. They're incredibly deep. Really, it will take a while to cover all of these little features and everything. That's why probably if I go back and watch this, uh, you know, in six months of really getting to the instrument, I probably will look like I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, okay, so that has been the Audiofire products that we have for you. Now we have Vivum 1, 2, and 3, Ether Arp, Vesper, Aircord, and Abstrung. It's a long video, but thanks for sticking with it. This has been Brian with Audio Plugin Deals talking a bit too long about the audio fire products we have for you now so thanks so much for watching guys remember to subscribe like the video leave us a comment we read all your comments we love hearing from you and stay tuned for more thanks so much guys i have no idea what the f i'm doing <laughs>